In the 1930s, Australian prospectors went to Papua New Guinea in search of gold. There they encountered tribes that no one had seen before. One of these tribes was called the Foray. In the 1950s, scientists came to the area to study these people and made a disturbing discovery. Out of the total population of the Foray, numbering about 11,000, roughly 200 people died each year from an unknown disease. Patients at first had difficulty walking and speaking, then began to suffer tremors and in the later stages of the disease, lost all muscle control. They couldn't get up, they couldn't feed, and inevitably, they would die. The foray call this disease Kuru, which means trembling, and it's the name by which it became known in medical literature. A curious thing about it was that almost all the patients were women and children. Scientists searched for years to uncover the cause of the mysterious affliction, and finally they found it. Cannibalism. The foray cooked and ate their dead. And they did it as an act of kindness. The foray believed that it was much better for a body to be eaten by people who loved the deceased than by worms and insects. Women and children ate the brains of the dead, while men ate other body parts. The most interesting aspect of the disease, it turned out, was that the pathogen which causes it isn't a virus, a bacterium, a fungus, or a parasite. It's a type of infectious agent that's completely new to science, one that could survive even at boiling temperatures. This newfound pathogen was a protein called a prion. Prions are proteins often found on the surface of our cells, but if we eat infected meat, eventually the protein reaches the brain and its structure changes and becomes misfolded. The effect of the misfolded protein is to cause neurological damage and ultimately death. After this discovery was made, the foray stopped their human eating ceremonies. Although it's difficult to be sure that Kuru has completely disappeared due to the long incubation period of between 10 and 50 years, researchers think that the last Kuru patient died in 2009. In 2012, the epidemic was officially considered to have ended.